guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we've got... Ow, I just put myself right in the face with that. Right in my face. Today we have got the book of Shielded. This is a brilliant book. I really did like this. So anyway, this is the fun cover. So if you can see what... Um, if you remember the book that we got this one, we actually got this book for last month. Um, no, sorry, not last month. Jan uh, July's box um, from Fairly, which was our Resilient Royals. Um, book which I really did enjoy. I can put the bookmark there. So this is the cover of the book, and I really, really enjoyed this. Um, way it is of like the cover was like okay, that's really there. Really intriguing. Really fun. This is by uh, Kaylin Flanders. Flanders. I do apologize if I have pronounced that wrong. But it says on the front as well. It says an angel evil, a broken kingdom, and one girl with a secret to save the world. What better can you get from reading that? Literally. So and the cover is very beautiful. Love the green. And she's holding this sword as well, it's really pretty cool. And then we have the back, which has this on it. And it is, says, My world was tipping, my shattered life scattered. Like glass across ice, how was I find my place in a new land? Why well, couldn't find a place among my own people? How would I keep my secret hidden while under the security of an entire kingdom? Oh, that's pretty good. And if you remember as well, we do have our sprayed edges. These are black. This is my second book, I believe that's, yes, yeah, second book that is black. Um, sprayed edges because the other one I have is the Chain of Gold. So there we go. So now when we take, before we read the, it's not, it's not, it's not, well, it's not this. Well, the front cover of this is this. Look how pretty that's like embroidered, embroidered in, embroidered, embroidered. I did kind of get a little bit dirty in the book when I was reading it, um, but whoops. There's nothing on the back, it, it's just green and black. And then the spine is a nice like silver. <coughs> nice little silver gem. I love these. Which I'm getting so used to these books, um, get, like trying more and more, trying to read these books more. And obviously this book is signed by the author too. So this, let's read the synopsis before I, I continue on. It says the kingdom of, well, <clears throat> Haledine is in trouble. It's losing, the war, uh, it's losing the war at its borders and rumours of a dead, uh, sorry, a new deadlier, 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 a threat has surfaced. Princess Jinsarara Knows her skills on the battlefield, would make her up a set and wants to help her. Her father has other plans. Second born heir to the throne, Jenna lacks the first born's her, her, um, her older brother's magical abilities. So the king promised her hand in marriage to the, to the prince of neighbor, neighboring Tora Turin, Turina, in exchange for resources Helida needs. Jenna has no choice. She must leave behind everything she ever known if she is to give her people a chance at peace. On the journey to reach her betrothed at her new home, the royal cave uh, caravan is ambushed and Jenna realises the rumours were the wrong. The new throne is worse than anyone imagined. Now Jenna must decide if revealing a dangerous secret is worth the cost before it's too late for her or for an entire kingdom. So she does actually keep the secret um, as long as she possibly can and then she does actually say in the back, well, like close to the end. I won't say how close to the end, but close to the end. Um, but the book was fairly intriguing, like, there's a lot of names where I was like, how do I pronounce this? I literally had to get, like, Google and, like, put the name in so I can hear what it sounds like. I could not understand what it was going through. Um, oh, if I get, get if I start doing reviews on these, like, these books, like, these ones, I'm not going to try, I'll try not to give you too much discussion on it, because obviously I don't want to spoil too much of these books. These ones, the mangas, eh, why not? But, because these ones, the rank mangas are like, easy to remember the books. So I'm like, you read day to, by day, day by day, and you won't remember, like, every single freaking page, chapter. <laughs> now, there's that. And then, obviously, I love how, get close to the end. Like, they do a chapter. Hang on. Five minutes later, they do, like, a little thing like this. Like, it has little words. And it just says in the back, it says so like other words I can't pronounce anyway. Um, then at the end it says that they would pay for Grey Mare's death, all of them. That just then shivers down my spine. 
And so I continued on, read about them a little bit of the author, and then can you go to the next page? Hey, the page is stuck. Why won't it? Okay, my the book wants to be a bird head. <sighs> this that really caught me. And I'm like. Because I was reading it through and I'm going, oh, this deserves a second book. This, th th there's going to be a sequel or something. As I'm going through, the Helidon crown is saved, but the battle for the platoon has only just begun. Look for the sequel to Shielded, Untethered, Summer 2021. Hello! No, we had, we had Shielded, no, Untethered? Hell yeah! If I don't know if Fair Loot's going to be doing a box, but with the box, with the book in. Or someone else's, or it's going to be a edition box. I oh, who knows what's going to happen. But I really, really enjoyed this book. Book, book, not box, no of them. Um, and I really enjoyed it. It was different to a lot of what I normally would read. Um, but like I said, I am trying my best to read as many books as possible. Um, to get catch up with all the other books I've got. I've still got books from. Um, still got books from Fairy Loot last year in December. I still got some other books from this year. From other just loads of books to read through and I'm doing my best as many as I possibly can to read as quickly as possible so thank you guys for watching I know it's not really much as a review because I don't really say talk about the book as much but I didn't want to give you any more spoilers because this book has only just been um, out um, I believe that Fairy Loot did the reading section thing um, just a couple of weeks ago and just finished it off or whatever like that so obviously I didn't want to spoil anyone who has not read the book yet I'm surprised I caught up with this one there's other books that I have got and it's been a while back so if you remember seeing like Woven in the Moonlight or Bones of Crying Moon which Bones of Crying Moon at the moment is one of my favourites because that was a damn good book anyway there's Shielded I hope you guys enjoyed and the next book will be Kiss of the Rose Princess volume 1 Mangalit it is bye bye guys for now